Hello lovers, in this video we're going to look at our predictions for NXL GCSE Biology Paper 1. So last year we predicted nearly 70% of the topics that came up in the NXL GCSE Biology Papers and we are aiming for better this year. I am not going to lie, we did receive some hate for only getting 70% right, but that is like a grade 7. So I'm pretty happy with that still. But don't forget, use this video to help with your revision, help you towards those top grades. We've got our predictive papers, which are available to download from the website, as well as the walkthroughs where Dr. Edwards go through what the command words mean, how to structure answers, how to spot the clues that the examiners have left for you. You can watch the video walkthroughs here or in the boot camps and the master classes which come with a live revision session and all of the papers. And now Dr. Edwards has been an examiner for years and she has made these predictions on the analysis looking over previous his papers and her in-depth knowledge of the exams. But please remember, these are just predictions. We have not seen the actual exam. So please revise everything. Our predictions here are what you've used to write our predictive papers and they can be used as a starting point or to help you focus your revision before the exam this week. So I'm gonna start with compliance science, but you can use the timestamps down below to jump to the separate science predictions if that is what you are looking for. So for combined science, if you want to set the questions and explanations to go along with these predictions, don't forget our predictive papers and our walkthroughs. Now, we know this exam loves cells. So mitosis in the cell cycle, what happens in each part and what can go wrong. So the ways that mutations can happen, consequences, things like genetic modification, and then the ethics and why this is done. This also leads to variation and adaptation, both of which arise due to mutations in the cell cycle. These adaptations can link through to the environment that a species finds itself in or a new situation where we can end up with speciation. Staying in the same area, evolution, the hows and the whys, including phylogenetics. Proteins and enzymes are always a big topic in biology, so we want you to know enzyme action in detail. So the graph should be expected to draw, how temperature, concentrations and pH affect enzyme action and the practicals that you've done for this. Remember, whenever we are thinking about practicals in the exam, you need to be expecting a new context. So it won't be exactly the same as what you're used to doing in class. We know there are some main Z's in the specification, so you need to know these in detail. So the different types of pathogen, non-communicable and communicable diseases such as HIV, how they are spread and how they can be prevented from spreading and the treatment for these. Now, don't forget we've got predictive papers, we've got live revision sessions in the boot camps and the master classes. We have so much stuff ready to help you revise. For separate science, remember our predictive papers and our walkthroughs will give you a comprehensive set of questions around these topics to really help you prepare. This exam really loves cells. So thinking about mitosis and cell cycle, including what occurs in each phase and the implications of any errors. So thinking about mechanisms of mutation and their effects, thinking about genetic modification, its methods, the ethical considerations surrounding this and its purposes. This also leads to thinking about variation and adaptation, both stemming from mutations during the cell cycle, and then these genetic changes can result in adaptations to new environments and situations, potentially leading to speciation. Thinking about the topic of evolution, including the whys and the hows, thinking about phylogenetics is also important. The brain and the eye are nice small topics that are separate science only, and these come up frequently. They don't take very long to revise, so it is worth knowing them all well so that you're confident if they come up. Proteins and enzymes are big subjects in biology, so you should be familiar with enzyme activity, including interpretation, drawing graphs, and how temperature confrontation and pH influence enzyme activity, as long as well as the relevant practical experiments you've been doing and including thinking about protein synthesis. When thinking about practicals, make sure you realise they're not going to be exactly the same as you've seen in your class because we need to put them in a new context. We're thinking about specific diseases, so communicable, non-communicable diseases, various different pathogens, ones that are named in the specification, how they're transmitted, prevented and treated, as well as inherited diseases. Then finally, thinking about diseases, looking at plant diseases. So there's quite a lot there. If you want help with any of that stuff, then we've got all the videos and the questions just ready and waiting for you. Ouch!
This is why in some videos I will explain scratches. 